When I dropped my daughter off at college for the first time, she went to Clark University. And I was very excited for her because she had grown up, you know, being exposed to higher education all along. And I thought she was perfectly prepared to go. And when we got to the end of orientation, it was time for parents to leave. We said goodbye and we turned to walk away. And I looked back and there's a tear coming down her cheek. You can never really prepare for how it's going to feel. You raise them for this moment and then when it comes, it, it is overwhelming. Uh, but I was surprised at how positive I felt, uh, much more positive than negative. And uh, he was in the right place and that made us feel good. I think it's, it's mixed emotions. I think you're feeling um, pride, uh, that kind of everything that's happened up to the first 18 years is kind of a culmination of all that and, and that success. And so there's a pride thing, certainly a, a sadness. Um, the family dynamic has changed. Um, but there's also excitement too um, to get ready for that next phase in your life. And so uh, lots of mixed emotions. So my advice for parents who are experiencing the transition for, for their student for the first time is to let the student learn how to cope with those transitions. Once your child gets to school um, and you get that phone call with the, the concern, the problem, um, listen to them, support them. but. Ask them what it is that they need from you, because um, it's probably just, they just need you to listen, and they want to um, want you to be a sounding board and be able to bounce some ideas off them. Um, ask them what resources are on campus that they can use to kind of solve that problem as well, and then at uh, last resort, you can intervene, but really let them solve their own problems, because uh, that's part of the process is being away from home and uh, being the school is all about. The best thing is to let them rely on the resources that are here because their advisor, their RA, and other people on campus are there to support them and help them identify what those resources are. And that's all part of the, their learning to think critically and problem solve, all those kinds of skills that are going to benefit them in the future. It's fun to hear when they've gotten through that and you're, you know, you're just hoping and praying and everything will be all right and then they call a couple days later and they've accomplished it. That, that is, you, you want to have that experience. It's very cool. I think it's easier to answer what don't I love about Colby Sawyer and really there's nothing that I don't love about Colby Sawyer. Everything is... Um, the environment is so fantastic here. It's really family oriented. The relationships that students have with faculty and staff on campus are close, engaged, they are um, meaningful relationships. I think that kind of closeness um, really helps students make the transition to college, but it also helps them make the transition out of college because they know they always have a place they can come back to. Being on campus here is, is like being on vacation every day. The scenery is beautiful, the people are friendly, there's so much to do in the outdoors as well as activities and events that go on on campus and in the community. It is just um, a great place to be. And I've been here for 20 years and I hope to be here for